Welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Reading today from Proverbs chapter 28. And we will begin our reading in verse 27. Proverbs 28 Verse 27, the Bible says, He that giveth unto the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. Now, God does not look at things the way man does, does he? God looks at things completely different. God promises not to let our needs go unmet, If we give, man would say, hoard, so that you will always have what you need. Stockpile everything that you need and everything that you want so you never run out. That's man's way of thinking. Keep accumulating. Keep getting more, more and more and more. Ensure it. Keep it, though. God says, no, I, I, I won't let you be without what you need if you give to others who have needs themselves. You know, the Bible says, he who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. Think about that. God says, if you give, if you give, I consider that a personal favor. If you give to somebody who has a need, I consider that a personal favor. And I will make sure that you get it back. You are just lending to me when you give to somebody who has a need. God says, if you give... It shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. That's primarily giving to the work of God, and that's the most important thing. Giving to help get out the word of God when it is preached straight. Not to some lukewarm modern evangelical church that doesn't say anything in their sermons because they don't want to offend anybody. That's a waste of money. But when you give to help get out the word of God, God says, I'll give back to you good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. <clears throat> Maybe not in this life. He doesn't promise riches to Christians. Giving is an act of faith. You give to God, and you will get rewarded. God will make sure you get rewarded for it, but he doesn't promise to do it in this life. Definitely you will get it in the next life. The, the life of a Christian is... To live by faith. Giving is a work of faith. And if we trust that God cares and actually acknowledges and sees what we give, whether it's to the poor, to the work of the Lord, God will meet our needs, certainly, for as long as he wants us here, which frees us up to give. We don't have to worry about not having our needs met. You have God's promise that he will give you what you need, not everything you want, but what you need for as long as he wants you to live, to do everything that he wants you to do. And those things are up to him, of course. But he promises to give us what we need if we give. You won't run short. He doesn't promise to give you everything you want if you're a Christian, but he does promise to give you what you need for as long as he wants you to live and to do whatever he wants you to do. And then in eternity, he promises to bless you as well. 28, when the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. When wicked people become powerful, good people have to hide. It's becoming very popular to be evil in this country today. And good people who take a biblical stand for issues are ridiculed and called haters. But we have to still stand because that's what God expects of us. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you want to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's word also. When you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.